Hello Internet world, hello everybody, long time no seen, I know, but let's get straight to the meat. First of all, I would like to give a big shout out to Frank from Fix It Frank. Uh, the guy is awesome, I know that everything I've learned about projectors, 99.9% of it, it's because of uh, Frankie and uh, the videos he is posting out there of how to repair, how to clean and how to keep these things going. But uh, let's get straight to this. Today we have a new 1080p projector from, from Epson. It's the CO-FH02 uh, model. That's the 1080p uh, entry level uh, projector from Epson, 3 LCD, lamp based. And now I am going to talk about this and why this is a major disappointment. As you can see, I have it upside down for two reasons. First of all, I've taken the liberty of removing the screws, eight screws from here and one from the side, one from there, because I want to take the lid off in order for you to see inside and most of all from Frank, if he sees this video, the video to be able to give his own professional opinion. And second, because I've read something that I didn't like from the get-go. Let's read, shall we? The lamp in this product contains mercury, blah, blah. Dispose of used projectors according... Wait. Dispose of used projectors. What used projectors? Every single projector I've had, and I have six more of these beasts, different models, of course. Here, right, dispose of used lamps. Wait a minute, it's just a, is this a typo? What, what's going on with that? You're going to see right now. Let's move the beast in this upwards position. This is the model it's going to be replacing. That's an entry-level projector from uh, Epson. Uh, I have uh, done a major uh, something bad to this projector. I've uh, opened it to clean it and I accidentally destroyed the blue polar polarizer film. Um, un until I get a spare part or uh, uh, something from another uh, used projector, I'm going to keep it as it is right now. Let's see one major difference. Do you see that in the old model? And I want to remind you that this is a 350 baht projector. That's a lamp door. It means that I can open it and place the lamp myself. This thing does not have a lamp door, which means that if the lamp dies, you either throw it away, as it was written underneath, or you get it to someone who knows to replace the lamp if you are able to find any information about this. Let's talk on with the differences. This is a 750 buck uh, euro projector and this is a 350. Check this out. 3 LCD. Of course it's going to have a filter. It's clean. Yes. I clean it every 2000 hours. Oh, sorry. 200 hours. Yeah. Let's put it back. What is it? There is a filter here, but you cannot access it. Let's move on. Let's say I lose this or I destroy this. That's a great coffee, by the way. I have a full keyboard. In order for me to operate this unit. Check this out. Only a power button. If I lose this, which is cheaper, by the way, than this. I'm done. You gonna to move on with uh, differences? Adjustable fit, guys. Adjustable fit. Where are they? It's a chip model, it has two inputs. Okay. This is supposed to replace a, a much, much, much costlier model, model and it this only have one HDMI and two USB ports. Ah, by the way, this 
here goes in, it closes and uh, you can uh, stick a, an Epson Fire Stick that they give you or whatever smart uh, Android thing is it, it is with, uh, you, you buy with this thing. Another difference, this is only for focus. Where's the zoom? This does not have a zoom. It's the only model that didn't have, uh, used to have a zoom because it's a cheap projector. Now, this has an auto iris. You can hear the auto iris. It's like a scratching step motor uh, sound inside it. It, open, it opens and closes the, the iris so more light or less light goes through the light tunnel in order to have a better uh, uh, ratio, whatever they call that. I don't care. Doesn't have anything like this. If you open this, you can see that the main board is of a standard quality. If you open this, the quality is less. You can see the connections on the board that are as cheap as possible. Now, while, excuse me, while I do with one hand, Let's see, I have already taken off the screws. Ah, it's going to fight me, yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Ta-da! Flimsy as hell, only one power button. A very basic lens, that's the same input fan as it is in there because I have disassembled this fully in order to clean it it has about 400 4000 hours on this at, on its second lamp that's a speaker which is quite loud of course I want to say in this unit's defense that it has a very good pixel but for how long that's the lamp guys that's the lamp fan well, that's the lamp don't know what this is, might be something of uh, related to heat, who knows, but this is the lamp. You cannot replace the lamp by yourself, there are no visible screws, you have to disassemble everything and then you have to take apart this whole thing here in order to relamp it. Of course, there are no information about what kind of lamp it uses. Here it is, basic, basic stuff. I believe there is one screw here, one there. I haven't taken it apart. I haven't removed the lamp and one down there, as you can see. That's the low power connection. What's going on, guys? This is seven. 150 1080p projector. What's going on? Is, what do these companies think? This is a use and dispose unit. You cannot replace the lamp. And another thing is that they advertise this as 1200 hours. It's not going to last that long. You're lucky if you get 3000 hours out of this, 4000 hours. But even though this is a 3 LCD unit, which means that. If the filter is clogged, this is going to be heated up so immensely that the, these three, um, these three uh, LCD panels are going to be destroyed by the heat itself. What the hell are they thinking? I can't believe they've done this. This looks like a cheap Chinese crap model like a Vanky or like a Conceptum or something like that I used to have and of course all of these things are thrown away right now. What is with these companies nowadays? Epson, Apple, BMW. You just buy things to throw them away after a few years. You just buy a 70k car to throw it away after four years. This unit claims to have two years warranty, but 
For the lamp, it's only 1,000 hours, whichever comes first. That's it. the lifespan of this unit, 1,000 hours, if you are lucky to get it. Of course, I'm going to use it. I'm going to have this disassembled, not like this. I'm going to put the cover on, but I'm not going to put any screws in uh, because every two... Uh, let's see if we can remove the note. You can't remove this. You can do nothing with this. Because every 200, uh, every 200 hours I'm going to be cleaning this and we are going to see how long it's going to last. Of course, if you are tech savvy, you are going to be able to disassemble everything and you are going to be able to replace the lamp. But uh, it's going to be more and more difficult than just getting a lamp and, uh, for this unit. Guys, this thing as cheap as chips. They have omitted everything. They, they've done it. They have manufactured it to be as cheap as possible. I don't know. I'm very disappointed that uh, the decisions of uh, these companies nowadays, either it be cars or computers or projectors, let me show you. I have here a Mac Mini. That's a mid-2011 model. I bought this 12 years ago and it's still in use, still going strong. And uh, one month ago I have just replaced the hard drive because I had uh, better SSDs out there and I say why not, let's take inside. Let's say you buy the new model from 2020 or 2023, the M1 or the M2 model right now. You cannot even disassemble the unit yourself in order to clean it. That's the way we're going, guys. Talking about... Hello? Hi there. That's a 15-inch model LC Power. By the way, I'm going to do a separate video sometime in the future about this thing. That's the way we're going, unfortunately. We are going to be filled with use and dispose things that have a limited lifespan you are going to use them for one or two years, no matter how long the warranty period is. So these companies are going to have their asses covered. And then you are just going to sell 700, 1000, 2000 euros or bucks or whatever to get a new one in order to keep it for two more years. So you can throw it away and begin the cycle again. As I used to say for my car, which is a 1998 Toyota Corolla with a million kilometers on it. All this gold. No, this is unacceptable. Just keep the old units running as long as possible because this is totally unacceptable. I would... I would understand if this was a laser-based unit, but it's a lamp-based unit. You cannot replace the lamp by yourself. Anyway, that was my rant. I hope everyone is doing okay in these hard times we're going through. And I'm going to see you sometime in the future in another video. This is George signing out. Bye bye. Have a nice day.